right, so I got the DIY rack made up. We'll put the three coils here. The one, two, and three, since we got three. Just got the order of the brief roids that came in to feed them. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use the Revive Coral Cleaner to clean it off. Get the feeding tube. So we got the bags floating here. See what they are one more time. I don't really know. Looks pretty good. Looks like it has a few heads on that one. Let's see. Pretty hard to see in the bag. Let them acclimate for about 30 minutes. I know some people say 15, but I was busy. Uh, pretty hard to see what's in there. That's the bonus. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and open up bag one here. Let's get the bags open and put inside. So here is bag number one. And I believe this is the Batamusa. It's kind of hard to see. Let's put that inside of the water. Looks good, though. Or is that the bladder muso red mint? Well, let's open up the next bag. The bag number two we're gonna open. All right, here's coil number two. I think coil number two might be yeah. Coil number two is definitely the bladder muso with the mint red because it got the green in the middle. Now it does look inch and a half inch, and it's two heads. I ordered one, he gave me two. That's nice. I do like the look. Let's put that in there. Let's go on to the next one. Here goes the bonus. Let's go ahead and open up the bonus. Yicka D, look at the bonus. Two heads. I don't know what this is. If anyone can ID this, let me know. It's looking extraordinarily beautiful. Thank you so much, UniqueCorals.com. I enjoy my experience. Very excited to get these in here. The Revive Coral Cleaner to uh, dip my corals. It says, for use in a dip or bath during the acclimation of live corals and anemones to an aquarium. For rinsing newly fragmented corals at coral propagation facilities and for washing injured or dam damaged corals, zoanthids and anemones. Direction, mix four capfuls, 40 milliliters of Revive per gallon or clean of clean and age salt water at room temperature in a bucket or other container suitable for bathing. So we'll be using milliliters out of here for my treatment. I got 10 so far. Let's see. I'm going to take it out and just directly blow on it. Don't want any hitchhikers, more or less, you know. It smells like pine salt. If anybody wants to know what it smells like, it smells pretty clean. That one looks like a worm of some sort right there. I don't know what that is looks pretty good this is a nice green looking one wow very beautiful mm -hmm. very beautiful all right very nice very nice Wash it off in there. 